Nandi County Governor Stephen Sang has this evening invaded and destroyed parts of a tea plantation believed to belong to once powerful Henry Koski, a politician who served as a cabinet minister in retired President Daniel Moy and Mwai Kibaki's era. Sang said this is just the beginning of his quest to reclaim all grabbed land in Nandi County, as Lois Wangoi now tells us. Kibare Tea Plantation had an unusual guest this afternoon, coupled with unusual activities. Nandi Governor Stephen Sang used this power so that he came with to shred down parts of Kibare Tea Plantation in the company of his county officials. Kibare Tea Plantation is owned by Eastern Produce Company, whose major shareholder is once powerful Moi era politician Henry Kosgei. <laughs> Governor Sang says this is just the beginning and that his administration in conjunction with the residents of Nandi will be destroying this whole plantation come Monday. Governor Sang is accusing the owner of Kibarati Plantation of having grabbed this land which served as a public utility space in the 80s. However, politicians close to the former minister view the attack on Kibarati plantation as an extension of bitter political rivalry between Governor Stephen Sang and Henry Kosgei. The two faced off in a fierce contest for the Nandi County governor's seat with Governor Sang beating Henry Kosgei. Recently, Henry Kosgei's son, lawyer Alan Kosgei, has shown great interest in the seat for Nandi governor. <laughs> A family member who sought anonymity said the former minister is extremely upset with Governor Sang's action. The family member saying the land in dispute was properly acquired by the former minister through a loan courtesy of the Agricultural Finance Corporation AFC. The family member further revealed that Henry Kosgei struggled to service the loan, forcing him to dispose of a house he owned in Lovington, Nairobi, upon which he acquired ownership of Kibare Tip. Plantation. Governor Sang says otherwise. Kosgei is yet to speak on the matter, even as his tea plantation faces even more destruction come Monday if Governor Sang lives up to his promise. Luis Wangoi, NTV Eldoret.